Hello and welcome back to Budget with Becca. Oh my goodness, I know it has been months since I've made a video, but I have just been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes of the camera. I didn't want to leave cash budgeting, but it was best for me to kind of take a step back. Um, and I just kind of went budgeting through just normal online systems and paper and pencil, but I didn't do cash stuffings. I just used my credit card as well as my debit card. But now that I have some exciting news, I want, we'll share in just a little bit. I wanted to kind of switch gears and go back to cash stuffing just to get my budget and my finances tighter. So my news is, is that I bought a house. Yay. I can't believe it. I'm finally processing it all. I move next week. So now that I've done a lot of the money that I have saved, I have been spending for furniture and, you know, all the household stuff. I am kind of ready to get back into the swing of cash stuffing just to keep myself on track as I go into the first couple mortgage payments, as well as for the months of summer. And then we'll go from there. So I'm not going to have a really detailed video tonight. It is for me currently 11 o'clock at night. I just came back from a really late staff meeting and so I am just exhausted, but I knew that it was payday and I wanted to start off on a good foot. So we were going to be cash stuffing here together. So enough me rambling. Let's jump right into the cash stuffing. So I've got my sinking funds and my wallet and I will explain what I'm going to be doing and how much is going into each. So in my wallet, I still have these lovely dividers from Kay's wallet. I will be taking them all out from my wallet to the side. Oh, sorry. Before we do that, there's some coins. Ooh, I can never do that graciously and it always ends up looking worse than it is. Okay. So we've got two four and some other change that's going to go into my money box and then the rest of it sorry the coin box and then the rest is to cash stuff these lovely dividers again sorry for the horrible lighting this is 11 o'clock at night even though i want to get it filmed i want to just keep on top of filming again so it is what it is so we're going to start with unstuffing the envelopes and then stuffing and again sorry if i'm rusty it's been a little bit of time so beauty i will leave in here and same with oh did i leave a Oh my goodness, I left a whole envelope in my wallet. Wow, it's been a minute since I've done this and I promise I will get back into the swing of things. So miscellaneous doesn't have anything. Beauty does, but beauty always gets rolled over. So this was cash I just had in my wallet um, that I was taking out even though I wasn't cash stuffing. A lot of my beauty um, appointments have to be paid with cash. I was taking cash out anyway. So this is from that. So a 50, 55, 60, 65. So that... Actually, you know what? I'm only going to roll over the 50. I'm going to take the fives out and just roll over the 50. And then I'm also going to be going back to putting, taking cash out for my gas and then groceries, food and spending. So $15 will get stuffed into some sinking funds later on. All right, with that, let's get into stuffing my envelopes. We're going to start with the main three, which is groceries, food, and spending. So like I said, I'm a week out before I get my keys for my new house. And so I'm not sure how much I will be actually going grocery shopping yet until I move. Um, especially that first weekend, it'll probably be a lot of eating out, a lot of families coming to help. It'll be a lot of moving. So for right now, I'm just getting back into the habit of stuffing it. But if I don't use it, it'll just go into my savings um, challenges. So. A hundred dollars is going into groceries, which will be one fifty, two twenties, and two fives. And right now, oops, I am just kind of budgeting with the numbers I think in mind, and then after you know the next couple of weeks, as I am back to living on my own and going through the motions, I'll have a better idea of what my budget should be like. As we know, budgets are meant to kind of be flexible with week by week, month by month. So 100 bucks in groceries. I'm going to be doing $50 in food. Food is my category for eating out. So we're going to do two twenties and two fives. And that will be for food for eating out. 
Now spending is the same thing, 50 bucks. Spending is kind of anything that has to do with buying anything that is not food related. So we're gonna also do 50, the same amount as I did for the food category. And in it goes. All right, so the main three are now stuffed and ready to be used for the next week. Then we've got our kind of envelopes that I would not use on a daily basis, but still need to be stuffed in my wallet. So for beauty, I will be doing 100. So it'll be 150, two 20s, and two fives. And that will bring the total up in beauty to $150. And that should be more than enough to last me the next two weeks because for beauty I only cash stuff when I have am paid. So 50, 100, 120, 140, 145, 150. I also want to get my nails removed and then I'm planning on either trying to do them myself or just get like more of a simpler design just to kind of save money as well as I just don't have the time as much as I used to to go get my nails done in the summer properly but that'll also be the time for me to try doing my own nails so I like acrylics but I think it's time for me to give it a try and just practice some other styles on my by myself okay so then gas is 50 sorry the gas is 70 so 50 and a 20 I normally do gas on my credit card, but like I said, I'm trying to be very, very strict with myself over the next couple of weeks. I also have a little bit of credit card debt that I would like to pay off by the end of the summer, I'm hoping, probably before that, um, but I'm just going to try to stick that to every expense is cash. Every variable expense is cash. Okay, and that brings me to buffer, just to make sure. 20 bucks. I may need to raise this because currently I don't have like a household envelope. So my plan was to have the miscellaneous envelope be household or to mix in with my spending or my grocery envelope. Um, so we'll just have to kind of wait and see if not miscellaneous will also be there or kind of like a buffer to help. So with that, these are my variable expenses all stuffed and ready to go into my wallet. So I put the ones I don't use often at the back. There we go. And then the ones I use on a regular basis at the front. And then as you can see, the coin pouch is in the middle. I love the style of wallet. It's just so easy and everything fits in so nicely. And it also doesn't scream that you're a cash stuffer because I find that I really want to go back to the A7, I think binder but that kind of opens like a binder normally does but I found that it was just too much attention grabbing and I didn't really want that um, so I really wanted to bring it back to just something simple and I love this method and they're great envelopes from Kay's wallet so that's my wallet done which brings me to my sinking fund so I've got a few challenges that I'm working on to build up my emergency fund again which I have some papers at the back here, which I will fill afterwards, but I'm planning on having at least $2,000 in my emergency fund and then to create some buffers to help with being a month ahead. So my emergency fund is my next goal that I'm working on and then I will explain the other envelopes as we come around to them. My plan is to do a separate video when I'm not half asleep, <laughs> explaining more of my plan as I am coming back to YouTube as well as coming back to cash stuffing. So just save I will fill that in but for right now I will be doing geez Louise sorry everybody this is going to be 40 for my emergency fund for now miscellaneous so that is also just kind of my buffer category will also be another 40 And 
then we've got all of these other savings challenges or just savings that I am going to just slowly add money to. This is just to kind of get me back into cash stuffing and just to help to save up. So I've decided to put $5 in each one of these. So Disney World will just be saving up for vacation. I also have a sinking fund of this online where my side hustle money goes into, but I thought, you know what, it's such a cute envelope, might as well keep saving cash as well. But all about me. So this will be five bucks. I have a tracker in there that I will try and save for $500 just to create a buffer in my expense account. Gifts, five dollars. Annual pay will also be five bucks. Car maintenance will also be five bucks. And these two at the end are just empty because I will start saving up for these um, in the future, but not for this paycheck. So that is our binder stuffed. Now I have some leftover two fives and two twenties. And what I am planning on doing is going back to cash stuffing the hundreds envelopes challenge. But my plan is every envelope will just be $20 sorry, will be $40 so that I can save up to $4,000. So it may be a slow process, but that is my goal. I, like I said, I'm so half asleep right now. I didn't even pull out my 100 envelope challenge, but just to let you know that is where this money is going to go. And actually, you know what? Let me split this money into these envelopes. There's a 10 in here as well and do we have any fives it's another 10 I think this rainy day challenge has fives yeah so I'll do that as well and I'll color these in another time off camera and next time I am on screen I will oh, not on screen next time I film I will try to have a little bit more information and be a little bit more coherent but I just wanted to get this at least filmed so I can put it up and let you know that I am planning on coming back so thank you all for sticking around with my channel still subscribing still asking questions still wondering where I'm at because I am now back and looking forward to starting the cash stuffing journey again and I will explain what my next steps and what my plans are to keep myself accountable and keep you all in the loop when I get a chance the next video may not come out for another week or two just because I will be moving but I did want to keep myself accountable like I said and start posting again so I hope everyone has had a great start to the end of spring beginning of summer and we will we'll see you soon bye